Welcome to Muhammad's Boom Boom Room, where all of my guests either agree with me completely or they go boom. I am your host, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon me. And with me now are two members of the group known as the Israelite School of Torah. We have with us here today Supreme Chief Keef, High Priest in Charge, Abba Baba Yabadabadu Ban Yasharallah, who is the leader of the group, and his second in command, General Von West. Salam. Shalawar. Assalamu alaikum. Kwam Yasharallah. Allahu Akbar. Yahawah Bahashim Yahawah Shah Barakathah. Alhamdulillah. Hold up. I know he didn't just say the hell. Brother, read Leviticus 11 7. And the swan, meaning the pig, though he divide the hoof, divide the what? The hoof, divide the fraction. The hoof, divide the whole number. The hoof, divide the lowest common denominator. The hoof, and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Unclean to who? Unclean to you. That's right. Gentlemen, you misunderstand. I also abstain from swine. Pig is not permissible, for it is haram and not halal. Ha, ha, ha. Quran, Quran. You follow God's laws? Peace be upon me. For example, it is not permissible to eat pork. Khan, Khan, but Khan. It is permissible to eat camel. Wait, what? Peace be upon me. Hanafi, Maliki, and most Shafi jurists do not believe eating camel breaks wudu. But, according to the Hanbali scholars, if you eat camel meat, you must perform ablution afterwards because it does break wudu in their view. Some are especially suspicious about the neck meat of the camel because I once placed my foot upon the neck of a camel. See how clear our deen is? This is why we refer to al-Islam as the easy way. Our deen is mubin. Read Leviticus 11.4 the camel, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean to you. Peace be upon me. Camel's meat was haram for Bani Israel, while Allah made it halal for us. Brother, read Quran 3, 3. He has sit down upon you the book in truth, confirming what was before it, and he revealed the Torah and the gospel before as a guidance for the people. God revealed what? The Torah. Allah revealed what? The Torah. And the Torah was what? A guidance for the people. And the Torah was what for the people? A guidance for the people. According to the Torah, you shouldn't be eating no filthy camel. Perhaps you were not understanding. I am the seal of the prophets. Peace be upon me. And I say, that not only can you eat the camel's meat, you can also drink the camel's pee-pee. Man, that sounds like some white people stuff. Idiomites. Why, thank you, gentlemen. Wait, what? Were you not aware of how white I am? The Most High is going to judge the so-called white man. Well, I must inform you that my companions testify that I am a white man with an elegant face. They describe the whiteness of my complexion, the whiteness of my cheeks, the whiteness of my forearms, the whiteness of my stomach, the whiteness of my shins, the whiteness of my thighs, the whiteness of my legs, and even the whiteness of my armpits. See, I knew Islam was not the religion for the so-called black man. As a matter of fact, the well-known Islamic jurist, Ahmed ibn Abi Suleiman, ruled that if anyone dares to even say I am black, he should be killed. You know who's going to be killed according to the Holy Bible, KJV 1611 edition? The so-called white man, Esau. No, no, no. Esau was not killed, for it only appeared to them he was crucified. But it was not so. Those who claim Esau was killed 
do so according to no certain knowledge. Who is Esau? Yeah, yeah, we say Esau. Esau is Jesus. And I say they did not see what they thought they saw at all. What who saw? What we saw? You saw Esau? Was he red like I said? Not at all. Who is Esau? You saw Esau? Esau been Miriam? Esau been Miriam who? Up the four wives if he wanted. No, you can have unlimited wives. No, but you can have unlimited sex slaves. Agreed. Now do you understand that Isa bin Miriam is whom the Jews call Yeshua and the Arabs call Yesu? No, the one whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ is actually Yahawashai. Besides, I thought she was a so-called Arab. Exactly. So why do you call Jesus Isa? Simple. Isa means Esau. That's why I call Jesus Isa. You telling me you call Yahawashai Esau? Yeah. Why would you call someone something they're not? Isn't that exactly what you do? What do you mean? You call yourself Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> you don't speak Hebrew. You don't live in Israel, and you are not sons of Abraham. Everyone knows you are not actually Hebrew or Israelite, and yet you call yourself Hebrew Israelites. Are you saying we're the sons of Ham? Ham is forbidden. Han, Han. Yeah, we're the sons of Shem. And you say white people are the sons of Esau. Khan, Khan, Khan. So, you believe you are the sons of Jacob and black, and white people are the sons of Esau and white. Khan, Khan, Khan. But Jacob and Esau were twins. That's right. And one twin was so-called black, and the other twin was so-called white? That's right. But this would make both black people and white people Semitic. That's right, we are Semitic. And Esau is too. Oh, that's great. I am Semitic as well. Yeah, but that don't matter. You are an Ishmaelite and not on our 12 tribes chart. 12 tribes chart? Yeah, we carry it around with us everywhere we go. Just curious, is, is the Bonnie Carreza tribe on your chart? No, why? Because I, I once ordered all six to nine hundred of them to be mass executed in front of their families. Just wondering. Anyway, what is the 12 tribes chart? It tells you who the true Israelites are because the true Israelites are the only ones who can be saved. See, right here, the so-called Native Americans, a Seminoles, are actually the tribe of Reuben. And how do you know this 12 tribes chart is accurate? Ariyah said he got the 12 tribes chart from an angel who visited him in his apartment. Oh, an angel also visited me in a cave and gave me revelations. I wonder if it was the same angel. Was he wearing a gray suit? No. Was he black? No. Did he have a perfectly round afro? No. Hmm. Must have been a different angel. Peace be upon me. I want to go back to something from earlier. The name of your camp is called the Israelite School of Torah. Are you actually saying you are really truly Israelites? That's right. So. You are saying you are actually a true Hebrew. That's right. So, you are saying you are Jews? Man, we the true Jews. Yeah, not them cracker Amalekites over there in Israel. So, you are the real Hebrews, actually Israelites, and the true Jews? All praises to the Most High God. You finally get it. Yeah, like we always say, we are the true Jews. True Jews. Eh, well, like I always say. Allah! Yeah!